Hello, this is Tom Sillis. I'm the CEO of Wetcrow.com, W-E-T-C-R-O-W. Wetcrow.com is a, a business that, that, that basically provides pre-priced, pre-defined services, prices them, provides appointments for the customer. The customer uh, finds the service, sees the price. They click on to book it. They pick an appointment, and boom, they're off and running. They pay, and they're, and they're ready for the service provider to come out and install whatever the ceiling fan, toilet, whatever the case may be. Okay, that's my business. Okay, now, uh, and we call ourselves the the, the convenience store uh, of, of uh, home services, basically. Okay, uh, now, here's the title of this video: is how to make one, how to make a million dollars in seven weeks. I did it, so can you? Is the title of the video. Now, let's put it this way: Grant Cardone did it. I did it, so can you? I mean, you, uh, if you guys don't know who Grant Cardone is, you need to go and look at, uh, at him and on uh, YouTube. He's very well known on YouTube. And a lot of people, they, they and the naysayers think, oh, that's all bullshit. You know? No, it's not. It's 100% fact. Okay? He's one of the top sales guys. He trains the top companies in the U.S. He's the top sales trainer in the country. Okay? What does that tell you? They, these companies have tried Sandler. They've tried all these other sales programs, and they weren't doing that well. They took Grant Cardone's training, and they're over the top. And the companies that use Grant Cardone are over the top. So what does that tell you? Okay? So that's the proof right there. So learn who Grant Cardone is. Go out there and look at him. You pay 200 bucks for a month to do his videos. Take a month off and watch the videos day in, day out. I mean, uh, you know, put the TV, turn off your TV. Uh, for, if you want to become a billionaire, you're going to have to turn off your television. You have to give up all your distractions. That means no, you get to tell your family, the only time I'm available is going to be Christmas and Thanksgiving. That's it. All the rest of the year, I'm not going to be available. I don't do parties. I don't go anywhere. I'm, I'm going to stay home working. I, I'm, I have to get this done. Okay? So, uh, as you well know, baby boomers are another thing I want to ask you. Now, here's how you can, uh, you know, do this. You can buy existing businesses uh, because what's happening now, as you well know, I'm 70 years old. Uh, people my age are, have already retired or are retiring, and they're selling their business. And if they, they put it out with a broker, usually, is what they do, which is the stupidest way to sell it. Okay, and then if it doesn't sell, you know what they do? They shut it down. I seen plumbers do that. I said, "What the hell are you doing? That business is worth money. You got you're making. Uh, you the guy had like six people. He tells the employees, I'm shutting it down. Go find another job. I mean, what the hell? You know, I, you know, it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I told him, look, put an advertise somewhere on Craigslist and offer. I'll finance you and find somebody that a uh, plumber or one of your workers that works for you." Finance them. You want to start a business? Yeah, I'm interested in taking over the business. Good. I'll finance you. No money down. Give me a dollar, and the business is yours. And, and you're gonna. And I'm gonna still own. I'm still gonna own thirty percent. I'm gonna own uh, forty. If you don't triple the business in in five years, uh, I'm gonna take it back, and I'm gonna resell it to somebody else. Okay. So that's how you do it. You write up an agreement. It's not hard to do it. You sit with an attorney or you do it yourself. Write an agreement. Here's what we want to do, and and just do it. So, you know, the best way to get started is to buy an existing business. Now you now you got a million dollar business, so you're outside, you know. Uh, so, like I said, uh, now, the, here's how you go about it. You can ask CPAs and attorneys, uh, that, you know, of, let's say in my case, home service providers, uh, you know, they are rent, or selling their business. They're looking at selling their business or any business for that matter. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a plumbing that company. It could be a, it could be a car repair place. Whatever. If you know how to do something and you know how to repair cars, that could be your the thing. Find a business that is that's your passion. Maybe you know how to do it already. If you have skills, find get into that niche. Okay, and find a business that's making money and buy it out. And if it's worth a million dollars. Tell the owner why you want to do it. I'll come work for you for free to show what I can do. Go work for him for free for a week. Show me you can do it, and then tell him that I'll make you. I'll triple your business. I promise you. I, I've I've studied Grant Cardone. He's the top sales trainer in the in the world. I've studied his methods. I'm, I'm I got a billionaire mindset. I'm going to become a billionaire. That's my goal, and and here's how I'm going to do it. And you tell him I'm going to buy businesses out, and I'm going to I'm going to improve them. I'm going to triple them their value. And I'm gonna have. I'm gonna turn into a billion-dollar empire. I'm gonna be all over the country within uh, within five years. Now, then I'll try and maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. We'll we'll sell that out. We'll take it public or whatever, and we'll roll it up into a public company, and you'll cash out with me, and you'll have a lot more money than you'll ever have selling your business or shutting it down. So you know, you got to be creative. Now, uh, you know, it's just incredible. You know, 
And I, like I said, you have a, write a letter, you, you know, you go the right, oh, you write a letter to their home, never to their business, because you don't want their employees knowing that they're trying to sell the business. You find out the owner, there's different ways to do it, uh, either through the attorney or the CPA, though they may give you the information, or you can search it online. It's not hard to find where the guy lives. You know, you can look online, you can subscribe to Spokio, you, know, you pay like 50 cents, you get the guy's information, and you send him a letter. And uh, and make sure you got it. And, and then, you know, there's some of these people. They put their email on their Facebook page. So don't be afraid. You know, I mean, it's not rocket science to find out somebody. Okay. Now, um, then. Uh, okay. Like I said, I like I bought to give you the story. I what I did. I bought two businesses. Uh, Start up a handyman business. I bought them out. You know, because I and I went to the guy. The guy. One guy was a plumber. One's a handyman. And I told the guy, they knew me because we used to meet at these networking groups. We got to know each other. We got to be friends and all that. And the guy kept telling me he can't find good help. He can't find good help. So I told him, I said, let me come over there and help you. I went there for a week. I sat in his business for free. I didn't ask him for money. And I I interviewed plumbers. I actually put an ad on, on uh, I said, how much you pay them? He said, I pay them uh, 22 an hour. I said, that's the problem. You got to pay 30 an hour. I said, trust me, do it. You're going to make a lot of money. And I'm going to show you how to make money. And then that, what I went and did with him, I, I, that's how I started learning about my business. Okay? The more you learn, the more you can do. So I went over there. I, I put ads on Indeed. I had, I had like 40, 50 to 100 resumes a day coming in. I, gra- I downloaded them. I pulled them in. I brought them all in for a group interview. Okay? And here's what we do. Here's how we do it. And I'm going to interview, I'm going to, that's the first interview. The second interview, I'm going to do one-on-one interviews. I told the people. The first one is a group interview. I want to tell you our vision. Uh, we're going to pay you 30 an hour. And if you're very good, there's going to be bonuses as well. Uh, you can make money, uh, you know, with additional money, like a 1% bonus on, on the sale if you do a good job. And you help me build my business. That's the thing. You want somebody to be committed, they're not going to be 9 to 5. They're going to get paid 30 times 8, $240 a day. If they work, uh, you know, if they work later doing other tasks, they're not going to ask me for money. And they're going to help me build my business. That's the kind of people I want that are committed to my business. If they're not committed, I don't want them working for me. I told them that. You, if your guys are not committed, they just want to, they don't want to show up for work. Those are not the kind of people you want to work for. I want a person that wants to make money. He wants to become a millionaire. He wants to retire in 10 years from now. That's the guy I want. You know, he's my dream is to retire and that's fine. Great, come on here, I'll show you how to do that. Okay? That's the guy I want. What's your goal in ten years from now? I want to retire in twenty years. That's fine. I want you to tell me that. If you tell me that, I'll hire you. If you don't tell me that, I'm not gonna hire you. You know, because I I want people that wanna make money. Okay? Because that's where you're gonna make your money. If they don't want to make money, you're not gonna make money because that's that you're gonna get the crap. Okay? You don't want the crap coming to work for you. You know, you got to learn that right away. Okay, that's the first lesson you got to learn. Uh, so, so here's a couple more things. So, you know, I I bought the two business, I built them up, and it's not like I said, it's not rocket science. All you got to do is put, you know, the stuff you learn, learn how to become a billionaire, study all the good habits, how to build a business, how to scale it. It's just hard work and salesmanship. Learn how to sell. That's your number one tool. That if you do that, I don't care what you are good at. If you know how to sell, you write your own ticket. Okay, uh, you know you can make more money than you can ever dream of. I know sales, but now if you work for a company that screws you all the time, well, that, that, you know, that's fine. You can use that to learn by and practice that. But then within a year, you better be the hell out of there. Okay, you should be in your own business selling the same thing because you can do you can do it much better. You can buy a business that does what they're doing. Uh, you know, even if it's a local business, the gutter. Well, you you don't want to buy a franchise because then you're just buying a job. But you can build your own brand. Yeah, we're doing gutters. You 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 go talk to suppliers. I'm building a, a I'm going to build a billion dollar business. I'm going to sell you guys gutters, and you sell the different companies gutters, and you gutter guards or whatever they're they're selling. You can do this, okay? Well, now gutter guard is their own company. They're, they they only sell franchise, but there are companies that sell the same shit. Uh, you know they 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 uh, I'm I'm using that as an example, okay? And they make the same thing because the after the the patent expires in 17 years you know anybody can do that and they're doing that there are companies in china even shipping stuff over i mean i don't know if they're doing that now but anymore but you know the, uh, but maybe they're doing it and making them in mexico i don't know but there are there i mean the point i'm making is there are companies that are selling the same stuff and you can brand it under your own label and build a company based on that okay then if you become big enough you buy them out okay 
That's what I'm saying. I want to buy you out because you want to control the manufacturing process because maybe they're not doing as good as Gutter Guard or the other guys. That's just one example I'm giving you, okay? Now, that said, uh, it's just hard work, salesman. You need sales help? Go see Grant Cardone. You pay the $200, you immerse in his program for a month, uh, you know, full-time. I mean, you do nothing else but to watch that. No TV, nothing, like I said before, and learn how to sell. And then go out there and practice. Go work for somebody that sells that. Go out there and sell the gutter guards. Learn how to climb on the roof or, or whatever to, to measure and, and uh, give estimates. You know, you got to know how to do that. You gotta, and you got to be able to sell that customer. If you can't walk out there and sell 20% of the customers you're visiting, and, it, and then you got to be good at it. And then when they tell you, uh, i got to think about it. Well, you know, you better know how to answer that one question. If you can't answer that one question, you're already out of business. Okay? Learn. I'm not going to tell you the answer. I want you to figure it out because that's that's going to be your homework for today. Okay? Figure out how to, uh, how to answer objections because once you learn that, you're going to become an ace at it. Okay, because they're gonna people are gonna they're gonna lie. People, buyers are liars. You know that you've heard that expression in sales. Well, you're gonna learn why because they you know if they don't like to be sold. Nobody likes to be sold. You got to convince them that the value of what you're providing is much greater than what they're gonna pay for it. Okay, look, what's the issue? Is there an issue with financing? Let me help you with that. Uh, is there a, a what's the, what what's the why are, why can't we do business today? And you're gonna learn how to answer that. Okay, and there's gonna be probably ten ways to overcome that you know they're going to keep you know the more questions you ask them the more they're going to you're going to engage them to keep the until you not, not wear them down but until they they realize that they're stupid not to do it okay i mean if they obviously you had me come out here right uh, you, you know your whole idea was to go to what's the issue was it the price you know they're going to say maybe they're going to say yeah the price is too high well you don't think I, okay let me ask you this uh What's the price? Let me ask you this. What's the price of if your gutters, you know, if your gutters uh, back up in the winter time and you get water in your house and, you, and it costs you twenty thousand, uh, whereas our gutter maybe our gutter is only going to cost five thousand. I'm using that as an example. Let's say I'm gonna, I gave you a price of five thousand. Now it's going to cost you twenty thousand to repair your house because you can't sell your house in the conditions so with, with leaks in the roof and all that. You know, nobody's going to buy because the buyer's going to have an inspector. They're going to go in the roof. They're going to see that you had leaks and they're going to they're going to cancel to buy it. And they're not going to buy your house. And the realtor is going to give the deposit back to the to the buyer, and you're going to say bye bye. And the buyer is going to be pissed off at you for you know for declaring that the house is in good shape. And you, they're going to sue you to get their money for the inspection back. And they, I've seen them win, and they win ninety percent if you lie. And in the disclosure statement, that's not good. It says everything is good, and it's not good. And the buyer finds out that the inspector saw that there was leaks in the roof. They noticed the. That the house was leaking before and you patched it up, you're gonna go. You not only are you in trouble, they can put you in jail for that. Okay, so they're they're gonna they're gonna scare you with the lawyer. We're gonna sue you for ten times the amount of the thing, and you're gonna be happy to pay it just to get out of that. You'll be paying you'll be paying for the gutters all over again. <laughs> so you know, learn. You know, you gotta learn what to do. Develop a billionaire mindset. I can't tell you that enough. Uh, you know, turn off your TV. Like I said, focus. And uh, on, on on what you're trying to do, and take massive action. I can't tell you that enough. It's it's a numbers game. If you don't take, you know, if you're trying to sell something, if you you know, like I do the door hangers. Why do I do it? It's a numbers game. I know that if I put out for every hundred door hangers I put on doors in the rich neighbors, I go where the money's at. I don't go where the poor people live. <laughs> Okay, you got to learn that trick too. And then I go where the rich people live because that's where the money's at because I'm going to sell high-end items, services, okay? I put the door hangers on and if I put up 100, I'm going to get three to five uh, sales out of that right, within 24 hours, okay? And then what I do, if they spend 500 bucks with me, I buy them a free pizza. I have a pizza guy deliver it and say, oh, your handyman, uh, just, uh, handyman Tom Sillis just uh, bought you a free pizza to thank you for being a customer. You know what that does for you? They, they tell all the neighbors if they talk to each other, because most, a lot of neighbors talk, they belong to the association or they know each other. You know, people talk, you know, the, all neighbors chat, even if they're wealthy. You know, they, the kids go to school together, they end up meeting each other and they talk about common interests and they start talking. Oh, by the way, if you need a handyman, this guy did a phenomenal job. He put a door hang on, he did a fantastic job. And not only that, he sent me a free pizza. Guess what? Everybody's going to be ordering stuff, you know. And if they see that you, they look at the door hangers. You're going to repeat those again in two months. They're going to wait for you to put the next door hanger on so they can order from you. And when they see you have all the service like I have, 
they're going to order from they're going to order the services I, like I, we have we have food delivery grocery delivery we're doing we're going to be doing all that stuff uh, in the next few weeks so they're going to be ordering all that stuff from us so my point is that you know you have to you know push out there you have to do your job you have to take massive action okay like i said some it's a numbers game so with that un, like i said subscribe to my channel like this video and i promise you i'm going to help you make more money uh, you'll, you're going to have the ability to DM me if you want to join me in my business. I'm always looking for co-founders. I will, you know, if you you're going to have to pay me to come in and join me after 90 days. If you succeed in in making your area more successful, I will I will give you your money back. I guarantee. You, I'll even double it if you do that well. Okay. So I'm um, I'm a very generous guy. You're going to find that I'm a nice guy, but I I do require commitment. I'm not going to. And if you don't, if you quit before that and you don't do the job, you're not gonna get. And you do a lousy job, you're not gonna get your money back. I mean, it's that simple. You know, we, you know I mean, you know, we gotta, you gotta have, you gotta commit and show me that you got the guts to do this. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So uh, like I said, li like this video, like this channel. I like this video and, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll be talking. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.